Hi guys, this video to show you how to open the file 7z ATS file type from the ATS software. Okay, so when you open this file, you just go to the ATS. Okay, then we can go to the file and archive, choose an archive here. And then we just copy paste, go to the folder. This one is the workspace 7z ATS file. Just open because uh, an archive is to open this file. It's a zip file. So, uh, choose the location that we want to save so we use back our folder okay so we select this folder and then we press next and then uh, tick for like include all the workspace and then next and then finish okay so just finish and then they will open the whole workspace after you unarchive it okay so this is how you open your 7 z ADS file and then how to create the 7 sec ADS file. So when you want to create the 7 sec ADS file to zip it out of your whole workspace, right? So you can just like click on file and then archive your workspace. So when you archive your workspace, you just choose uh, take the workspace that you want and then the whole library. And then this one is just to, for you to include the EM data file for visualization. Okay, so you can just untick it, then the file here will be become smaller. So let's say we untick it. So it will become 116 and then when we tick the back, then it will be like 174 KB. Okay. So when we click finish, you can change the name as well. So let's say our workspace we can change to like 2 ADS. Okay. Then finish. Then they will save the file lab 2 ADS. So we go back to our folder. You can see they have another lab 2 ADS file here. So let's go back to ADS, right? So let's say we want to unarchive the same file again. So let's say I unarchive, I choose unarchive, and then I want to uh, open this file again. So we just press next, and then yeah, same folder, same folder, just next, and then you can see they have the warning here. Okay. So when we ignore the warning, right? So we can just press on next. So it's like actually they cannot have like same name in the same folder. So just press OK. We can just change the path. Click on here, the advanced path. Then choose option here, destination. We can just maybe create another folder. Let's say a new folder here. Okay, then you can see the warning is gone. Okay, because there are no same file name in the same folder. So just press next and then next and then you can just press finish. They will open the workspace in the new folder here. So yeah, so that's all for how to archive and unarchive your ADS file for the 7Z ADS file type. Hope you enjoyed this video.